what's going on people? Ben here from Bateman Talks Tottenham, back with another video for my dad Paul. Hello. Where today we'll be previewing the Liverpool game. Tomorrow we'll be providing a match day vlog for you. So, Liverpool's always a bit of a cursed fixture for us. Something goes wrong, whether it be we've got loads of injuries. Last season we had front two of Harry Kane and Perisic. Mm. Or we miss absolute sitters in the last minute. Or an own goal goes in in the last minute. It's really a cursed fixture for us. So what are your kind of initial thoughts of the game? Well, ho hopefully our fortunes will change. Yes. And, um, you know, we've got a new new spirit in the club. So I don't see why, why, why there should be anything to fear majorly. Except it's another big test. Yeah, definitely. It'd be really interesting to see how the side fare. Considering we had Arsenal last week where we did... By standards of previous years and in general, had quite a good performance against Arsenal in periods of the game. So you'd like to think of a home crowd would be able to impose ourselves and our style of play onto Liverpool, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's right. Obviously, it's not ideal that Brennan Johnson is now ruled out of the game. With Ange saying it wasn't a major issue, but it wasn't worth risking him this weekend. He was out for this game, but it's not a major issue. I guess in the long grand scheme of things, it is better that. We're not risking him because we don't want his muscle to really have something bad happen to it and then him be out for a long time. So, end of the day, it's a good, good decision. He said that Sonny and Madison, while they're still not 100%, which is why they came off against Arsenal, with Ange saying that Madison has played through lots of knocks this season, which doesn't surprise me from the amount of nasty challenges he gets, that they are all right to play, but you would presume they might not play the full 90 minutes and they're going to be a bit of a risk and we're going to be a bit hot in the mouth when the bad challenge goes in on them, aren't we? Yeah, we need them, ideally, um, but you know, it gives a few others a chance. Yeah, you think Man or Solomon is probably going to play on the left wing, would yeah. you say? Yeah, most likely. It'll probably be a front three of Solomon, Son and Kulizewski. And Brian Gill is obviously back in training, finally, that Ange said. He's not been around the first team for a while, with a lot of injuries he's had, pre-season getting injury after injury. It's finally good to see him be back. I don't know if he'll be in the squad, but Andrew's talking about him, saying that he's going to be more involved now, which is good to hear, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and I feel sorry for him that he was um, yeah. had the injury just when Andrew arrived. He yeah. had no chance to, to impress. Go. Yeah, yeah. Andrew did say that he is a useful player to his system and might be someone that can be a vital option, particularly with Perisic also being out with that ACL injury. Mm. So I'm all for it if Gil can get in the team. The only thing I would say is a lot of our sort of style is based on aggressiveness and mm. Brian Gill has not exactly got the physicality for the Premier League, has he? No, although I think he's, he's got to know the Premier League better. Than yeah, that. I think he's just not physically mm. at the right level for it, but I guess we'll have to sort of see mm. what happens with Gill coming into the team. I mean, you'd imagine the back four will be the same as it has been. I think that's perfectly standard in midfield as well. So he's Basuma and was asked about the amount of yellow cards he's already got this season, meaning he can't get many more before the cut-off point without getting a one-game suspension. Mm. And I think, personally, it's not helped by the referees being very strict on players complaining at mm. decisions, is it? No, that's right. I mean, he was booked against Arsenal at the weekend for complaining because Saad mm. got stood on by Ben White. Ben White wasn't booked. And Basuma is the one that gets yellow carded when Ben White put his studs into Saad's yeah, foot, which completely, is... Completely unnecessary, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it... It's a difficult one because I think players should be allowed to show passion and they're, they're not robots, are they? No. They're, they're not robots. You're not going to... They're bound to react to things. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah. As long as they're not being abusive or anything towards the referee, mm. which we, for all we don't know, he could have been. He could have said something bad. Mm. So if so, then I guess fair enough. But I think the referees have got to get a bit of a balance of players being allowed to not be robots, but equally not be... Well, abusive towards the referees, which I don't think that many players are. Yeah. But then I guess there's a lot of the time a fine line between abuse and... Yes, but they must know that they're going to be in trouble. Yeah, so they've so obviously got things. to be. But you think in the heat of a derby, I don't know, it's mm. difficult. We don't know what Basuma said, so it's yeah. very difficult <coughs> for us to particularly comment. But it's frustrating, isn't it? And this kind of that position he's in, he's going to get the other cards. Mm. Even if he pulls off 9 out of 10 it tackles that work in the game, which with the Sumer's form this season has been the case, he's going to potentially pick up the odd yellow card, isn't he? Yeah. Moving on to Jürgen Klopp, who said in his interview today that he's been particularly impressed by Ange and how he's been able to impose his style on the Premier League and that he's not met him before and Ange they've not met before. 
but that they're both looking forward to meeting each other and that they both think it's going to be a great game, which I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Two teams that yeah. play great that. attacking football could make up for a spectacle. Yeah, we're looking yeah. forward to it. Um, you know, we're all ready with our seats. Yes, yeah, no, definitely. We've got, obviously, like we said earlier, we're providing you all the match day vlog. Mm. I don't know if we'll get quite the dramatic last minute scenes that we had against Sheffield United. Mm -hmm. Scoring in the 97th and 100th minute, I don't think it'll be quite as dramatic as that, but the occasion of the game, this is a brilliant game. Again, with a lot of history, not wanting to mention a certain game in Madrid, mm -hmm. but it's a game that we've not got revenge for ever since that final, have we? Yeah. And it's a shame that every... Time. Yeah, I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, feels like, it feels like it's never going to happen, mm -hmm. but hopefully we can hope and pray mm -hmm. it's going to happen this weekend, but... Looking ahead to Liverpool, they've not had their best start to the season in terms of performances, but, as in they've gone behind in every game, but they still seem to come through and they've got the firepower to finish teams off. Mm. So then I think, at their defence, I think we're going to be able to run at them, players like Son, Kulusevski, Madison. I really think we can have a go at Liverpool attacking-wise. It's just a case of, I think, they're a lot more going to be a lot more clinical than Arsenal and Man United. You think the amount of chances Man United did have in the game we beat them 2-0 in that first half, and Arsenal, the chances they had, I think Liverpool are going to be more clinical to that. So I think we're going to have to be tired at the back. Mm. But I do think Arsenal's defence is better than theirs, and I really think we can get at them. Mm. And Liverpool's midfield has been quite weak this season in, in some areas of the pitch, mainly when, mainly when teams get the ball. So I think, I think it's going to be quite an evening game. Yeah. Even getting, if I'm honest, mm -hmm. what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. What would your yeah. sort of score prediction be? Ooh, I'm always an optimist, so I have to have Tottenham winning. Um, uh, two one. Oh, I'm I'm gonna go three two. I think it might be a little bit more open. I I know I said three two of the Arsenal game last yeah. week, but I'm gonna stick with that mm -hmm. this week. And well, we've got to hope that it happens and yeah. we finally break the curse of Liverpool. Indeed. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to look out for our match day vlog tomorrow against the game against Liverpool. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, come, come on you Spurs! Spurs.